it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning, my free video tip series for wedding and event planners. For one year, that's right, 52 weeks, I'm going to email you a video tip weekly to help you aspiring planners learn how to get in the game and act more like a pro, and help you professional planners learn how to take your game and your business to the next level. Each week, I'll share a different video tip based on a real life situation, things that I've experienced with hundreds of brides and clients, including some celebrities. And with more than a decade of experience in the wedding and event industry, I've seen amazing things, but crazy things that I'm excited to share with you. And I hope that you can learn from them. Everything happens for a reason, and I hope that my experiences can better help serve your clients. This week's video tip is how do you know if your client is really, really ready to get married? Do they really know who they're marrying? Have you ever had that gut feeling that something just doesn't seem right? Well, early on in my career, I had that gut feeling with a couple. Just something wasn't right, but I was very new at this and I really didn't know exactly how to read people. And so the bride that I was working with, her focus was the, the wedding and the groom's focus was the house, the house that they were building together. And he wanted a lot of those things in the home to be a surprise. So one day she was with a friend and the home was almost done. She decided to stop by, go in, talk to the contractor. And there were people walking in the house. You know, when you're building a house, people are nosy, right? They just want to go in and figure out like ideas if they're building a house or what's going on. And the contractor came up to her and she said, I'm so-and-so. And he said, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. And this is so-and-so's house. And so of course she goes home to the groom. They were already living together and tells him, I know you didn't want me to go by the house, but I went by there today and met the contractor. And he said that that's not our house. And the groom was really thoughtful on his feet very quickly. And he said, oh, I got a better offer for it. I didn't want to tell you. I wanted to get through all of the planning meetings. I know you're stressed about the wedding. Well, when she mentioned it to her parents, her dad got a little suspicious and did some digging around. And come to find out, the person that she thought she was marrying was not his real name. So obviously, they split up. The wedding didn't happen. And she had to move back home with her parents and just recover from the emotional stress that she had gone through. And when he dug even further, it was very scary that he had been engaged previously and that person was no longer living. So again, I've had some crazy things happen to me. And the, the lesson that I learned from that is if you have a gut feeling that something doesn't feel right and you're helping someone plan something, you don't, you don't have to help everybody. If, if it's not a good match, it's okay to say no. It's okay to refer them to someone else because the last thing you wanna do in your business is to start planning a wedding for someone and be miserable. Not only are you gonna be miserable, your staff's gonna be miserable, your vendors are gonna be miserable, and you don't want that type of negative attitude in the office. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.